Hey everyone, Victoria here. Oh, I've got the light casting shadows, I guess. Um, sorry I'm late getting started, but I, at the spur of the moment, like 20 minutes ago, thought of something fun that we could do tonight instead of my normal thing. Um, I am working on a commission for someone, a Georgian dress um, in a plus size, which is always, is always good for people to know that I do all shapes and sizes. Um, I go by a person's measurements, not a specific size. So, you know, everything I do is fitted to the individual person, no matter what their size or shape is. So I'm working on that. I'm a little less than halfway along, so there's nothing all that exciting to show anyone, but something came up yesterday. Hey, Betty, <laughs> glad you could join me. Um, so something came up yesterday, and here's a little hint right here on my head. Um, as, as you guys know, um, in addition to dressmaking, I do play around with millinery or hat making, as well as historical wig styling. So um, I'm broadcasting live at the moment from my closet. Some of you guys have seen my ginormous closet. But what I thought I would do tonight is talk about um, not hat making, but hat reshaping. Um, I have a pretty big vintage hat collection and uh, I buy a lot of them on eBay and some of them are in really, really rough shape. Sometimes I bought a whole, buy a whole like lot uh, of hats. There'll be a group of, I don't know, four or six or eight hats. I'll just buy the whole box of them and then sort through when I get them. You know, I'll, I'll keep the ones that I like and discard the rest. But every once in a while, I even keep the discards because I think, well, maybe I can recover it. Maybe I can reshape it. Maybe I can restyle it. Um, I'm not a hoarder, but I do like to save anything that might potentially have a use because I always kick myself when I get rid of something and then think later, oh, I could have used that. So um, what I'm wearing on my head right now, this is a vintage hat that I bought, oh, a couple months ago. Again, I bought several of them. And when it came, it was quite smushed. It was quite misshapen. And I wasn't sure what to do, and then I thought I would try steaming it. Um, I haven't had uh, any personal experience with this until now, but I do have a number of cowboy hats because horses are another one of my interests, and I used to show horses. And when cowboy hats get dirty and misshapen, you take them to the hat store and they steam it and reshape it for you. So I thought, well, gee, I wonder if I could do that with some of my vintage hats. So I played around with my steamer yesterday. I have a steamer, a handheld steamer. I also have a wig block. I don't have a hat block. A hat block would be better, but I do have a wig block that I use when I'm styling my wigs. So I put the hat on the wig block and I decided to try to steam and reshape it. Well, it turned out marvelous. Uh, this was my first try, and I mean, this looks great. And there's another one very, very similar to this one that came out great. So I, I was all excited and playing around, and I did three or four hats. And then I realized, gee, I should be demonstrating this. So I already shaped um, most of the ones that I wanted to shape before I thought of doing this video. But I do have a few um, in my discard pile. Remember I said I, I have some that I just kind of um, keep. Yeah, Betty, the other one's even prettier. In fact, I'll show you all my hats before I go to, to steaming the next one. So I have a collection of throwaway hats that I just thought I'd show you the technique. I still don't think any of them are probably worth keeping. Well, there's one that's a nice one that only needs very minor steaming um, and shaping. But um, I thought I'd at least show you the technique, and if any of them end up looking better when I'm through with them, great. If they don't, oh well, I'll, I'll probably just, you know, throw them in a box and hold on to them for a few more months, and if I don't use them, I'll throw them away. So, um, I, as I said, I'm in my closet, and this is, this is funny. Um, I'm going to show you guys my closet now. Betty, I know you've been to my house, so you've seen my closet. But as I said, I have quite a ginormous hat collection. So I have these two hat stands. Hey, Kale. <laughs> uh, I was just talking about cowboy hats a moment ago. Um, so I have these two racks of uh, vintage hats here. 
I have, um, here's my uh, cowboy hats hanging up on over my closet uh, on the wall. And there, there's just a straw hat on the end because I sold one of those cowboy hats. Okay, I'm just going to do a 360 here of the hats. So on the top shelf above my shoes, and I have a very large collection of shoes. I have about 100 pair of shoes. <laughs> there are more hats and 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 more shoes and more hats. <laughs> I'm not normal. <laughs> Kale, I'm not normal. No, whoever said I was normal. Um, okay, so, and then more shoes, and then there's bags. So that's all the hats. So, and then these are, you know, clothes. And I, I'm very proud to say that a larger and larger section of my closet is comprised of things that I made. Like most of this section I'm panning right now, most of what's here, actually in that section right there, are um, clothes that I have made, which I'm really excited about. These are normal clothes that I've made. Now on this side of my closet, on the other side of the hats, I have a really big closet. There's a mirror, um, more shoes, more shoes. But everything you see in the garment bags, these are um, historical dresses that I have made. And I have these categorized pretty much by era. So down at the very end, I have medieval, and then going up, okay, I can tell through the bag. This is my eight, my 1830s dresses. These are Edwardian dresses. Uh, this is a Georgian. I can tell, you know, what it is in the bag. This is Regency, Regency, Regency. I'm not sure what that's doing there. Um, this is Georgian. This is Georgian. This is Regency. This is, oh, this is my um, Empress Alexandra gown. Here's more, oh, these are things that I have bagged up that I w would like to sell. Here's more Georgian. And then here's just some of my dressy dresses. And then I have fur coats down at the end because I have also a collection of fur coats. Um, and I'm sorry if some of you all object to fur, but these are all vintage coats. The animals were already dead. I had nothing to do in killing the animals. They're all vintage coats that I bought. So I'm sorry if you object, but I happen to like them. Um, so um, I do have, okay, this one's a raccoon, a fox. This one's a, I think it's a beaver. And it's, this one's faux fur. This one's faux fur. This one's mink and leather. This one's mink. And then this one's rabbit and this one's faux fur, and this one's faux fur, and that's all the fur. Um, and I do have um, a few uh, fur hats um, that are on my hat rack too. So yes, this is my, my crazy closet. Maybe I should step back now. I have the, the light in here so y'all can see it better. So I'm stepping back to give y'all the full view. So this is Victoria Vane's closet. So it's my, yes, my crazy, very full cloth. Oh, and I didn't talk about the wigs yet. Okay, I kind of skipped over the wigs. So I sort of had them organized, but I ran out of space because I bought more wigs that I was supposed to be styling for people for the Fête Gallant um, at Versailles. But um, they're kind of in a stack now. But I'll show you some of them. So I do have a wig collection too. So um, and there's... Uh, Two Georgians. The one on the end is a pre-styled Marie Antoinette. The second one I styled. Here's my um, queen. The brown is my Queen Victoria. And then I have a 1920s platinum blonde. And then I have a 1930s finger wave. And then, oh, on the end there, the ash blonde, that's Regency. And then the brown one with the curls, that's a Italian Renaissance. And then the black one, that's another flapper wig. And then, oh, this is my piece de resistance that I still haven't taken apart yet. I'm going to redo it. But this is the crazy, 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 um, really big wig that I made, <laughs> Georgian wig. Uh, I'm going to take it apart and redo it. That was my first attempt at doing something really ginormous. Um, and then, i got to set it down. And then the rest, these are all wigs waiting to be styled, which my husband um, has agreed to make me stands for them because my stands keep falling over. So um, yeah, there's um, massive amounts of wigs. And then not to talk about the uh, the hair pieces down here. I have a whole, this is a big, it was my cowboy hat box, but it's now full of 
faux hair pieces um, and more wig stuff, more hair stuff. So, yes. Um, so I have a lot of wigs that I plan to style as well. And um, the steamer is used for that also. So um, without further ado, and here I am so glamorous in my, you know, yoga clothes here. I've got on just workout clothes. I just haven't been getting dressed up. I'm getting lazier and lazier as the time goes by. But I did put on a little bit of makeup. And I put on a hat for you guys. I put on a really cool hat. I might be wearing yoga pants, but at least I have a cool hat. So, <laughs> so um, okay, so I'm going to show you the basic technique for working on a hat. I have not mastered this yet. I only tried it for the first time yesterday or the day before. Uh, I don't think it's really complicated, and I know there are ways to do it if you have the correct equipment, but I was able to reshape some hats um, and make them look uh, a lot better. I mean, there were a couple that I thought I was going to throw away, and I totally salvaged them. This one wasn't a throwaway, but it was really, really smushed, and I really am happy with it now. Um, okay, so I'm going to walk out to my bathroom now, which hopefully isn't too messy. I'm not the neatest person in the world. I'm not a slob, but I'm, I'm a little bit messy. My husband's the neat freak. Thank goodness one of us is. Okay, so um, I'll show you. These were basically, with the exception of one, these were kind of throwaway hats, um, but I pulled them out because I thought at least I can use them to demonstrate, you know, how the, the steaming is done, or at least how I did it. Um, if any of them is salvageable, I'll keep it. Uh, if not, I'll toss them. Um, there's one uh, that I, is definitely a keeper. It's another black hat. I'll show you. This is my favorite of the bunch. Um, this is a black velvet hat, and I definitely can see this with a Regency dress. The shape of it, uh, let me put it on right, and it's only a little bit smushed. So it's black velvet, and if you look at the... Um, the side profile here, you, I don't know if I can fix this or not where it's kind of smushed right there. Um, but that's really a little bit, it's a little bit misshapen, not real bad. Let me see if I can wipe off the lens here. Uh, sorry guys. There, I just tried to wipe the lens. And, and I'm gonna bring the light in. I have um, my wonderful uh, anniversary gift my husband got for me. Okay, it's this really great light. Oh, if you guys want to see his closet here, he, he he's very proud of his closet. This is my neat Nick, my really, really neat husband. Everything in his closet is very, very organized. So this is my husband's closet. Um, oh, and there's the hat I made for him. Ha <laughs> ha. So, okay. D enough of the rabbit trails, right? Um, so here's the hat. I put it on the hat block. Okay, so I am using a Rowenta XL steamer. It's a hand steamer, and I always forget how to turn it on. It's got a button here on the back. I filled it with water already, and I always forget if I'm supposed to leave this one up or down. I think it's correct. It takes a couple, it takes a few seconds to heat up. So I'm gonna wait for that to heat up, and in the meantime, while that's going, I'm gonna um, take my phone, I'm gonna take my phone and I'm cranking up my um, tripod. I'm gonna put the phone in the tripod so that I have two hands to work with. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try. Okay. Uh, all right, there's the, there's the hat, the steamer, the light. Okay, here I am. I don't know if I can get this any higher or not. Yeah, I can go. Oh, that's as high as it goes now. Okay, let's see. There we go. I have it in the wrong setting. So, we've got some steam coming out. And so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to touch it to the hat. I'm sticking my hand in here. You have to be careful because it is very hot and it can burn you. So you definitely don't want to steam a hat while it's on your head. So you guys saw that it was misshapen. So I'm kind of sticking my hand in there. I'm pulling out where it was smushed and I'm steaming it as I go. And this is velvet, so velvet is particularly tricky. 
So I'm sticking my hand under and kind of pushing out where it was smushed in. And it is really hot. I don't know if this is gonna help on this one or not. The other thing I could maybe do is um, stick a, a towel or something in there maybe to hold it out. But I'm just trying to use my hand and just shape it as I go. And this one, like I said, doesn't need a lot of work. So even if I don't get it any better, um, it's still a very wearable hat. It's still in pretty darn good shape. I really like it. And I'm picturing, I already know what I want to make to go with this. I'm going to make a black velvet Spencer. And I might even use the um, some of the fabric left over from the Queen Elizabeth gown, that embroidered black velvet. I was picturing that today with this. I thought that would be really cool. So I might use that. All right, so I'm gonna pull away and take a look at my handiwork. And it's a little bit better. I think if I take a cloth, since this fits kind of loose on the head block, I'm thinking if I cover it with a cloth, maybe I can do this a little bit better. Yeah, I think that did the trick. It just makes it a little tighter. So this one really wasn't bad to begin with. I don't know that I accomplished very much with this hat. So I'm going to move on to the next one because I don't think that's going to help enough. I think it is a little bit better, but only, only a little bit better. But it's still very wearable, and if I want to, I can put a band on it that'll cover all that up. So that's hat number one. That one was the good hat. Now I have some ugly hats that are probably not salvageable at all, but let's try it. All right, next is this beat up, really beat up purple hat. And as you see, it's in pretty rough shape. This um, I figured was a throwaway, but it has this like little velvet band around it, or not band, but around the brim. I don't know, I, I was wondering if I could do something with it, but I didn't, so let's just see. Let's just see if we can shape it, if it's salvageable or not. It might not be, but that's okay. So I'm gonna leave this cloth on here so that it fits a little snugger. And I think I might even, I don't know if I wanna bend that down or not. Let's try it. I'm gonna bend the brim down. I'm not gonna keep it that way, but I'm just gonna try that for steaming it and then um, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so the purple hat. Let's see. Let's see what happens with this one. And again, as I said, these were kind of throwaway hats. If you have a hat that you really like and it's just a little misshapen, this is really easy. And you can clean a hat this way too. If you have like a lint brush or a cloth um, as the steam hits it, you know, just brush it gently and you can um, clean a lot of um, lint and dust off it. This one's kind of dusty. So I'm gonna steam it this way, then I'll flip the brim back up, I think, and then we'll see. I'm gonna try to reshape the top. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit and just smooth it with my fingers a little bit but don't put your fingers in front of the steam. Or too close to the steam. My fingers are in front of the steam. So I hope I'm not boring you guys. But I just thought this might be something fun to try. When I tip it up, the seam doesn't want to come out anymore here. Let me move the tripod over a little bit.
actually, I think it is looking a little better. I don't know how I'll shape it. I don't know that much about hat shaping. This is a wool hat. And it does feel like real wool. It does look and feel like it, so that again makes it worth messing with a little bit. I think the shape looks better already. Do you guys see a difference? I'm trying to shape the crown. All right, I'm gonna give that a break just for a minute, okay. And now I'm going to flip the brim up and let's see what happens now. I'm going to continue steaming it. I think it looks better. Wow. I think it looks a lot better. All right, let's see. out of the picture again. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe I want to lower this down a little. And this brim does have a wire in it, so I can um, I can shape the wire a little bit too. So let's pull it off and see. I might try to shape it some more just using my hands. It looks better. It definitely looks better. It's got a real problem. It's got a real problem right here. I've got to try to smooth this mess out. So I'm going to just do that in my hand. Actually, I'm gonna set the steamer down and see if I can use two hands on it. And I gotta be careful, this is really hot. Careful I don't burn myself. So I'm just kind of stretching it and steaming it where it has that problem. So I'm now just um, working the wire in the brim. There, I turned it off. All right, let's see. So, what do you think? I think it looks a lot better. And as I said, I'm no pro at this by any means, but this is something, uh, if you like hats, if you can find old hats that look like, you know, they have, you know, they're worth a little TLC, I'm gonna try this one on and see how it looks. So here's the back. 
So that bad spot was in the back. I'm still working it a little bit. And it's probably good to let this cool a little bit because the, the wool is damp yet. But, oh my goodness. Okay. So check it out. Not too bad. This was worth saving. It needs a band and maybe some flowers, but I think it looks pretty good. What do y'all think? It was worth a little TLC, huh? It's a purple wool hat. So um, I'll show you a little better view. So I um, smoothed out the top, uh, worked on the sides. Just, it's not perfect, but definitely, uh, definitely, definitely improved. Definitely a wearable hat. Yay! I'm glad my experiment worked out in, in front of you guys because it's always embarrassing to talk about something and then to demonstrate it and then to have it be a flop. That would be bad. Um, so do you want to see another one or have you had enough? <laughs> I have um, a, a number of them sitting here. This one is a one of those fakes, I don't know what it is, those fake straw hats that they wore, the little old ladies wore in the they still wear, I think. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I um, Again, this, is, this was in my throwaway pile, but that's nothing I would steam, obviously. Um, these are two hats. This is actually, believe it or not, this is a designer hat from, I think, the 1960s. It is a name brand hat, but it has this, like, it's uh, a Mr. John, Mr. John, classic. Mr. John hats were quite famous, I think. Um, that's got a faux snake skin. I don't know if this is worth messing with or not with this faux snake skin. And the snake skin, it's sewn into the hat. It's not just a band on top, so I can't remove it. I mean, I could, but I'd be taking the whole hat apart. And then it's got the same thing here. I don't know if this is worth messing with. And then this other one, I don't know what this one is. This says styled by Coralie. I don't know what this is. This is um, kind of a furry hat with a tassel thing on it. I don't see myself ever wearing this, but I don't know. I might want to mess with it just to mess with it. Um, this one might be a good one just to mess with though. So um, let's try it. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty ugly right now. I don't know if we can do anything with this one or not. Let's try it. And then I'll call it quits after that. All right, let's give it a shot. I might need to put more water in my steamer. But let's see if this Mr. John hat is worth saving. Here, let me lower it down a little bit so you guys can maybe see better. Um, I kept that cloth underneath to keep the hat uh, fitting more snug. And I don't know if this band is supposed to be up or down. I don't, actually, it might look better up, but I'm going to steam it with it down, and then maybe I'll flip it up. I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go, but let's just play with it and see what happens. So this one, I think, always had a round top, so I'm not sure what to do with the top of it. I'm not sure what to do with this one at all because I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like. I wish I had like a before picture of it to know what it looked like once upon a time. But maybe I'll just make my own totally different new creation out of it. I don't know. Let's see what it does. The steam definitely makes it look cleaner too. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna shape the crown a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to be perfectly round or not, but I'm gonna try giving it a little shape on the top. Let's see what it does. All right, 
I'm going to pause. I'm turning off the steam. Whoops, I wrapped it around the toast. I'm gonna turn off the steam for a moment and I'm just gonna see what the shape looks like. So what I did, it was perfectly round, like a, a, a bucket on the top and I kind of flattened it out a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm just playing with the shape. Now I'm gonna turn the brim up. It was down, but I'm gonna turn the brim up and this is a totally different shaped hat now. You saw what it looked like to begin with? Okay, so, and you know what's cool? When I turned it up, it hides that ugly snake skin band. So um, you can't really see it. So maybe I'll turn it up just a little more. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but isn't this fun to play with? So I'm out of water, that's why it's making that sound. I have to put some more water in the steamer. So here. Um, this is a great little steamer. I take it with me when I travel. But I've also um, used it um, when I do my wigs. It's fabulous um, for doing wigs. Because synthetic hair, um, it doesn't set by heat. It sets the curls set by steam. You have to steam it, and then um, the curl sets when it cools. So that's how you do wigs. Um, okay, so I put some more water in it. So I'm gonna let this crank up again. All right, here we go. So I'm going to steam the brim up. I don't know, I think it was more of a bucket hat before, but I don't know what kind of hat this is now. I don't even know what to call it. Kind of a fedora-ish. So I should have taken a before and after picture because um, this one is a very dramatic makeover. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is a very, very dramatic makeover from how it started. Do you remember? It was just big and, and long on the top. I mean, it was round like a bowl. So I kind of flattened out the top and I turned the brim up instead of down because it was kind of like a flower pot. And now let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on. Woohoo! This is kind of cute. Okay. So before I wouldn't have been caught dead in it. And now, what do you think? I think we'd be styling. What do you think? So, um, yeah. I, I think I like it. I think what I would do is um, just put a band around it and cover up that snake on the inside. The snake here on this this part doesn't bother me at all because it's, it's it doesn't look real fake and shiny like the one on the inside. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of a fun hat. I can play around a little bit with the brim still like those other two uh, that I have. You know, I can kind of pull one side down and that makes it look kind of look kind of sexy, kind of. Uh, Cabaret, what do you think? I think I kind of like that with it higher on one side and lower on the other. And then I could put some kind of um, decoration there. Lori, not your fave. Okay, not mine either, but look what it started. It started as a disaster. So it's come a long way. All right, um, this one, I don't think there's anything we can do with. I just don't think there's anything to do with it. I think this is, you know, either you like it or you don't. I don't. <laughs> of course, I don't wear anything this color anyway. These are not my colors. I don't do beige colors. Um, and you can't really turn the brim up. I mean, this is the wrong side, very obviously. I don't think there's anything I, at all I can do with this one. So I think that's all I'm gonna do with the hats, but definitely um, the purple one looks much better. That's a wearable hat. 
Um, the vel the first one, the velvet one. Oh, here it is. I'll put it on. Um, this one, I wasn't able to take that um, smush part out. It's still there, but I think it's okay. It wasn't bad. It kind of gives it character. So as I said, I, I picture this actually uh, with a Regency dress. I would wear it pulled down in the back and a little bit up in the front. And I would put um, flowers and feathers and stuff on it. And I would definitely wear this with um, something Regency. Um, and then this first one that I had on, this is the very first one that I had on that you didn't see me um, shape. This one, um, I pictured this as a kind of a 1940s, you know, fedora kind of hat. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'll wear this with. I think some kind of a suit, a dress with a jacket. I'm not sure yet. I have to, and black isn't my favorite, but I do like this hat. Um, I have one very, very similar to it in um, kind of a, is it rust or burgundy? It's kind of a burgundy and rust. Uh, you know what? I'll go get that one too because I reshaped it as well and I actually like it better here. I'm back in my closet now. Uh, where's the other hat? Where did I put it? Ooh, here's one that could use some shaping. Oh, I found one that I really like. Okay. Um. Oh, there's the one I was just talking to you about. I have it. It's burgundy. Okay, so I have some more hats in hand. So, I have one that I like that could use a little steaming. Um, so, the burgundy one that's similar to this black one, here it is. I, I um, worked on this one as well. I really like this. So, I really like this one. It's asymmetrical. If you notice, the top of it does slant. The crown actually slants. So, this is a very interesting hat. I really like this. Um, not sure what I'm gonna wear with it yet. I have um, sh I have a tweed, uh, a herringbone fabric um, that I haven't done anything with yet that I wanted to make a, like a 1930s suit. So I think that might look really nice with this. So I, I do like this hat a lot. And the one that I just um, found that I said um, needed some shaping is a similar color. Um, here's the one. Here's the one that needs a little TLC. I'll show you. So I just pulled this off. It's kind of a, it's not a, it's kind of a pea green color actually. Kind of a brownish green with a burgundy um, band and it does have a little bit of flowers on it. Uh, uh, no, no band, I mean burgundy around the brim, but it's got no band. I think it could use a band, it needs one. Um, and these flowers aren't in bad shape. I probably should take them off before I steam it. It just needs a little TLC. So I don't know, I don't know if the flowers will get wrecked or not, let's try it. I'm just gonna give it a little steam. Let's see how that one goes. Okay, this one just, it, it's not bad. It just needs a little, just needs a little care. But I do like the hat. I haven't found anything to wear with it yet. try to work around the flowers. I don't want to wreck them. And again, I'm putting a little dip in the top. I can always take it out. Oh, the nice thing is if you steam a hat and you don't like the way you shaped it, you can just steam it again and put it right back the way it was. So once more, I'm pulling the brim down and then I'll turn it back up again. Like I did with the purple one since it seemed to work for that one. Do 
the same thing for this one. changing the shape of this one a little bit. I hope I like it when I'm done. But if not, I'll just put it right back the way it was. I got that one a little bit wet. Okay, now I'm going to turn the brim back up. I think I'm going to take it down off the, um, just watch you don't burn yourself when you do this. This one had a um, really round crown before. I don't know if I want to put it back that way or not. I'm still going to play with this some more. And everybody look, looks um, good in different hat shapes. The shape, same shape doesn't work for everybody. I've just always loved hats. Okay. Let's see. There's one little spot where the flowers are. It needs a little steam. So, I actually reshaped this one. It was round on the top and I kind of flattened it because I tend to like that style. Um, hmm. Not, I'm not a, I don't usually do earth, earth tone colors, so I wasn't sure about this, but with, um, if I wore something burgundy maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what I would wear with this, but I think I like the shape. I can play around with it some more. Um, here, if I stick my head into it, here's the more round shape that it started out as. I think I kind of like the flatter crown better on my head. So, um, all right, now we're finished. So I was able to show you several hats and hope you enjoyed it and join me next week. Who knows what we'll be doing next? Maybe I'll do a wig. We'll see you later. Have a great night. Bye.